Hello everybody and welcome back where we will complete the Delta widget here this morning flight out of Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome to Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport where we will be doing the third and final leg of this little three part series called the Delta widget where we will be returning to the top hand point and our home airport of Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport. We are in our Airbus AT3300. Everything is all set and ready to go to get on out of here. Just need to start up our AP bleed. And then we are ready to connect the tug and get ourselves pushed back. We'll be departing on runway 25 right here this morning. And that is of the three parallel runways here at Phoenix Sky Harbor. This one is the one in the middle. And this will be a due west departure. So we shortly have to take off. We will turn ourselves to the north and then head back eastern towards the Minneapolis area. Alright. Remove the parking brake and we are ready to push back. There we go. And we can start engine number two. And once we return back to Minneapolis, we will start a brand new project which should end up being over a year long with this aircraft. I'm very excited to get that started. Here's uh, downtown Phoenix there in the background right there. there we are. That one is good. Fire up engine number one. We can stop that. Park the brake it back on and get by push back to <coughs> So since this is still technically the real life flight series, we will be operating in Delta Airlines Flight 1796. And that one actually does operate the Airbus A300 from Phoenix to Minneapolis. There are two kind of twin routes using the A300 to get from Phoenix to Minneapolis. Uh, the counterpart of this flight actually just landed a little bit less than an hour ago. And then uh, at the time I'm recording this, this one will then take off in the morning, just after 9 a.m. local time. Okay, so we are fired up. So you can do that. Arm the spoilers, take off flaps set. We can turn off AP bleed and AP master. Taxi lights are on. Things looking good up there. 
And I'm gonna have a little bit of a truck to get to the departure runway. We are gonna go right down here to Taxiway Echo. And then we got I uh, see we'll be entering Echo on Delta 6. Which is uh, just kind of one of these little spaces. There'll be Delta 7 right over here. Uh, we and the runway begins at Delta 13. So, a little bit of a taxi, and I will meet you guys right back up there at that time. Okay, we are at 25 right here, and we are ready to get ourselves underway. We just need to make sure we have takeoff lights set. And once again, everything up there is looking good. That is looking good. Everything down here is looking good. I think we are... Oh, we get to turn our weather on. Not much happening in the desert right now, but... It is currently a bit damp here in Minneapolis. So let's get this show on the road. And head on back home to Minnesota. Nice take out. And once we complete this big turn to the north, we will bring the flaps up. Any second now, autopilot. There we go. Here 
we should be looking at the map, we should be ending up pretty close to the Glendale area once again. Maybe we can get another look at the stadium for the uh, both the Arizona Cardinals and the Arizona Coyotes play. They are next door neighbors uh, over there in Glendale. There they are right there. The University of Phoenix uh, Stadium, if it's still called that, and then whatever they are calling the Coyotes Arena. These days, seems to change about every other year or so. But! Bring the flaps up. And we are just about at our transition altitude. Keep that, whoa. Keep that going all the way to our cruising altitude, which will be 41,000 feet. Especially on the eastern part of the compass. Heading to Minnesota.